What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Ronstar here, and today we're playing some Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is one of the newer apparel quests, and basically, Beerus the Impulsive, defeat all enemies. I am in hell, as you can see, and what better way to take out enemies than to use Hit himself. So, we have Frieza, Freezy Pop, and we have uh, Beerus down there just basically talking, telling me, you know, what to do, who to fight next, and stuff like that. But basically, what this quest is, is just you fight enemies until Beerus shows up, and then you fight them. It's pretty fun, actually. Now, uh, what I want to point out, something that's really, really exciting about Dragon Ball Zero 2 is they removed all the super armor. Folks, remember those annoying super armors that were like basically uh, the cheater way to make missions hard in Dragon Ball Zero 1? Yeah, that's not in this game. They took it out completely. Like, for example, let me show you how, uh, how different it is without super armor. For starters, I can actually beat Eternal Rivals now without having to worry about using cheap tactics because... Goku and Vegeta, when they like get the the end stages, they don't have to. Uh, oh, cause I'm, I'm gonna hear about that. Goku and Vegeta, for example, don't use super armor, so they're not cheap. It's, it's awesome. It's great. So yeah, I right, see what Cell has to do. So as far as my plans to parallel quests, I'm probably not going to do that many uh, in terms of video content. If I do videos for parallel quests, it'll probably be like you know stuff with friends, maybe possibly. But as far as what I really want to do in Xenoverse 2, mostly I just want to um, fight. I'm gonna get online to fight. Get out of here. Oh, nice. I remember when I was stupid, Cell, come here Cell, <laughs> one of these, and to finish him off with, blah, 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 with one of these, alright, uh, I believe I fight every single villain in this quest until Janimba, and after Janimba I think, uh, Beerus is the one who pops out, but I don't remember, I, I sat through all the parallel quests, look at that, his hands in his pockets, this stuff so badass, I sat through all the parallel quests over the course of an evening and a whole day, Non-stop playing. Oh my gosh, it was just so redundant. I don't recommend that to anybody. I just wanted to mainly, you know, record, you know, unlock all the characters before, um, what should I call it? Before the game comes out, so I can, you know, record random battles and stuff like that. Cause you can't do random battles if you don't have characters unlocked. I mean, that's kind of an obvious one. You need to have characters and stuff. So that's kind of what I was doing the entire weekend, non-stop. What am I doing right now? I don't really know. Come here, Boo. You get one free hit. Just kidding. Blah. God, I love hit. Hit is just so much fun to play as. Like he's just incredible. Now, as far as Hit, so you're going to notice that Hit seems to be very, very uh, powerful, super power, overpowered of anything. Get out of here. Get grabbed. Ba ba two piece. Hit is very interesting to use. Hit is just, he's awesome, great, super powerful, you can use in the right way. However, he does have his flaws. And uh, this is one of those characters that you basically have to fight a couple times before you understand how to properly use him. Hey, watch this. Look. It moves. If you touch the jellies in the air, it moves. It's pretty badass. The details, man. All right. I will kill you all. I will kill you all. I'm Broly. I'm basically the Pokemon version of, I don't know, Dragon Ball characters. Because all I can say is Kakarot. Even though you're speaking right now. I heard Broly speak more words in this game than I had uh, ever seen him do in the, in the show. Other than Kakarot. And just yelling because that's what he does. Broly's just a giant case of just roid rage. But whatever. A couple more of these. Right in the butt. Fisted and right in the butt. I fisted Broly right in the butt. Did not mean to do that, but sometimes it happens, you know? It happens. I love the time skip. Now, the trick with the time skip is you always want to connect it with the stamina break. If I had key, I could use it right now. Don't ever try to use uh, the time skip without it. I mean, you could try to pull it off, but it's. Why does he run like Naruto? Why you gotta make my boy uh, hit run like Naruto? <laughs> I am a ninja! This is the ninja way! Um. So, yeah, I'm about to complete this mission way before the time, you know. Is even required. I think you're gonna need like uh, a couple of minutes to do this, but whatever. All right, Janimba. What you got, Janimba? Okay, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I'm just saying words at this point. One of these. Snap vanish over here. He has a death combo that uh, I'm not going to show it off because I feel like it's a little easy to do, and I could you know abuse it, but I'm not going to because it's, just, it's an easy way to do it. You know, you gotta have fun with this. If you just do it a fun way, it's not gonna be you know enjoyable. So we're going to do a couple of these hits over here. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, keep them going. Where are you going, Janimba? I'm right here. I'm right here, buddy. Ah, 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 ah. He's so badass. One of these and to finish him off. <sighs> Let me just freeze time for a couple seconds. Balls. Right the balls. Well, technically it was above his balls, but you get the picture. Also, I like the idea of these, like, add more time missions type of thing. But I feel like what they should do is, is it should be put five minutes on the clock, and every time you beat an opponent... Oh, I'm done. I beat it. Every time you beat an opponent, it should add like a minute. And it should keep going like forever and ever and ever and ever. Alright, Beerus. Let's see what you got against me. Let's see what you, if you got against these hands. Ooh! What level, what level is, even is he? He is... I can't even check. I'm not even going to check because it's too much 
uh, of an opening to do that. Beerus, you're supposed to be a god. Let's get a little grab in here. Oh, just kidding. The grab doesn't connect. I think the best way to do grabs is to... What are you doing? Move over here. I think one of the best ways to do grabs is to just... Bah! Um, maybe do that. Or try to do a perfect block and then uh, counter with a grab. But doing grabs openly like that can be dangerous. Like this. Oh, just kidding. Mess that up. What you got? Like that. And then like this. Bah! Bah! Two peas! I'm over 1,000 years old. Where are you going? If you don't master the back hits, you're going to have a bad time in this game. A horrible time. And Beerus right now is not staying any chance. You know what? I think because um, I thought this quest was going to be a lot tougher than it was. I might do another one after this. Just kind of even... Oh, he just flicked me! You dare flick hit. One of these. And let's finish it off by freezing time. And then just the beauty of that attack. It just looks gorgeous. Oh, he's not dead yet. It's okay. I got, I got you. Oh, nice. He sort of anticipated that. You just broke my stamina. You broke my stamina, bruh. I don't appreciate that. The thing about a hit is, is the one flaw. Why I did a lot of damage? The one flaw he has, obviously, is uh, if you get your stamina broken, it's going to be a, quite a bit of time with you being paralyzed. So you, you want to you not do that. Don't do that. Ba ba. Pop. I feel like I could have finished that without even getting hit, but no pun intended. But, you know, sometimes it happens. So, you know what? I will do one more quest after this because I want to show you something neat, something cool. So, stay tuned and we'll be right back. Oh, we got a Z rank too. I'm getting cool items? No, we didn't. Alright, we'll be right back. So, at the beginning of this video, I told you that there is no super armor in this game. And to not make a super long video, I decided to pick this quest to show it off. This is a quest that was available in Xenoverse 1 and they brought it back in this game because they basically brought back all the quests from the last game and added it in here as well as the new ones. And one of the things that was annoying about this quest in Xenoverse 1 was due to the fact that... Uh, I think Mira and Toa had super armor at the end, and the quest was limited to 5 minutes only. And it was like almost impossible to complete in 5 minutes unless you fought cheap. Now look, let me show you the difference when they actually implement, you know, non-super armor bs -ery in this game. Like, it's just, it's, it's just so much more fun and enjoyable, and I'm getting my ass beat. What am I doing? I'm freaking hit. Hit doesn't lose. Okay, he maybe can't stop that, but hit doesn't lose. He just puts a hit on everybody or something, I don't know, technically. I don't know, Te technically, because he is an assassin. Alright, Mira, what you got for me? Also, the fact that, you know, uh, the people you fight now also show their stamina and key, which means they don't have infinite key and stamina before like they did in the last game. Look at that combo. Brrrah. Look at that. We have like, we're like 20 seconds into the match, basically, and he's already pretty much destroyed. You could not do that in the last game unless you played cheap because of the super armor. God, this quest was so annoying. And he's out. He's going to come back in a couple seconds, but yeah, I get the point. All right, Toa, what you got? What do you got, Toa? Come here. God, I love the Z vanishes. It's so awesome. And the side vanishing and all that stuff. The movement overall is just awesome. What you got for me? Bah! I completely screwed up that counter right there, but hey, it connected. Alright. Because she's stupid. Come here. One of these. Now, something I'm going to do in terms of tips. Uh, first of all, do you guys want me to do tip videos for parallel quests like I did last time in this universe? Let me know in the comment section below. We'll leave a like or something. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'll consider it. The reason why I say that is because... Yeet! It's because... Uh, Quest 90 to 100 are pretty hard. Not all of them, but they're on a more harder difficulty scale, if that makes sense. And um, if there's any quests you guys will have trouble with, it'll be those in, in that range. So if you guys would want to see, like, you know, breakdowns how I did it, you know, let me know and I'll I'll do it. Oh, it's 3v1 now. 3v1. Can you imagine doing this on Xemarus 1, 3v1 with freaking super armor? That'd be so annoying. All right. But I'm hit, though, so... Doesn't matter. I'll take on any challenge. I'll take out uh, the Mass Saiyan first. I wonder who that could be. I'll take on uh, the Mass, the mysterious Mass Saiyan first, and then I'll well last. That's what I meant to say. Last. And these. And that should be almost it. There it is. A little nice uh, hit elbow action. Now I'll do the uh, him last. Let's go for Toa first. The trick to these uh, quests is always go for the weaker characters first because all the weaker characters that are going to do is that. Just be annoying. So what you want to do is, is, if they're about to die anyways, just get it over with. Oh gosh, I'm being an idiot right now. And before I have to use items because I am just playing way too newbie right now. Oh, she trapped me! See, if Mass Sain was an idiot, you could have stopped that. Can you not right now? Alright. Let's play, let's play smart. Let's bring her to me instead of me going to her because she's always a support type. Bah! Bah! There we go. Alright, me and you, Bardock. I mean, Mass Sain! That's, that's clearly not Bardock, man. I mean... He has the same hairstyle as Bardock. He looks like Goku. That's partially Bardock's armor, but that's clearly not Bardock, right? Brah! Here we go. Connect those together. Finish them off. By the way, uh, for the Mass Saiyan, he does not go Super Saiyan 3. 
But once you uh, unlock the, the final variation of Bardock, that one does. Just in case you're wondering, because I know people are going to ask, like, why does he go Super Saiyan 3? He does, just not in that form. All right. Finish him off. He's going to snap vanish. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't try to, uh, don't try to stop that one. Don't try to stop that one. Here we go. And that's going to be the game. Bruh. I feel like I could have done that a lot better. But because I'm an idiot and I was trying to be flashy, you know, I almost got killed there. But, hey, it happens. Look how badass hit is. And the fact that he, you know, he has his knuckles the way he has them in the show. And the way he puts his, look at how he puts his hands in his pocket in the background. Hey, we got Z-Rank. I love the, the detail that Dimps added in this game. What do we get? Uh, oh, we got a new Super Soul. By the way, the question is going to pop up. Actually, let me show you right on this video because I'm sure you guys are going to be asking how the RNG is. So the RNG is still present in this game, but there is a new thing that, that they added in here. Uh, if you go to the Majin's house and create little Majin babies, which is weird, I know. Once you play the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you can send them actually out and they obtain random items and stuff for you, which uh, you can use towards... I guess if you get lucky, they might bring you cool you know, clothing and super souls and stuff like that. But the thing uh, or the solution that Dimps added to Xenoverse 2 that I guess, quote unquote, fixes the RNG problem that was present in Xenoverse 1 is the metal system. Now, as you're playing through a parallel quest in just the game overall, you'll notice that you'll get rewarded a lot of these weird TP medals, Time Patrol medals. Guru's house is being attacked. I don't care. To those who have played the game already or once you play the game, you know exactly how annoying Guru is. Anyway, so what you do is, is you fly over here and go into the TP metal shop. It's going to say, this is closed. We're open from Friday to Sunday. We apologize for any inconvenience. Every single Friday to Sunday, and this is just still a theory because this hasn't been a week yet. Every single Friday and Sunday, what I think is going to happen is, is they offer various skills, clothing, attacks, and ultimates and supers that you can purchase with medals. And they always kind of like, you know, swap out. So if you're getting a note trying to find out one move in the, in the parallel quest, just come here. Just come here every single weekend. And, you know, it, I guess it'll probably change on a weekly basis, which is still a theory. I could be wrong. But early this weekend, uh, I was able to purchase stuff like, uh, what did I buy? I bought, let me go to my skill set real fast before I end this video. I bought um, the reverse Mab Mabakun Senko, which is the, uh, the Piccolo attack. Of course, I got my, um, my, I got Dimension Ray, I think. Yeah, I got Dimension Ray from there as well. I think. Or I might have unlocked that one. I don't remember. I definitely remember buying Dragon Fist, which is over here. Where's my ultimate at? Oh, yeah. No, this, these are my ultimates. I do remember getting Dragon Fist here, as well as uh, Victory Rush, I think. No, I brought Victory Rush over. I, I'm kind of confused what, what I got from there. But I do know I bought the Kaioken Kamiyamaha, as well as uh, the Super Vanishing Ball. I did buy Serious Bomb. Did I not? Oh, I did not get Dragon Fist. Damn it, I should have bought it. Oh, Rage. Anyway, so that's kind of the solution that they added to RNG. I mean, you can still kind of like, you know, try to unlock and get the drops, but it's kind of annoying. But if you don't want to do that, just come here every single weekend and see what they're selling and then trade in those hard-earned medals for new attacks, skills, clothing, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, again, if you want to see more Parallel Quest videos like this, uh, probably for the harder quests, leave a like right below or a question or something, and I'll make it happen. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. This has been Rhyme Style, and I'll see you guys in the comment section below.